Good evening, Free Enterprise fans, and welcome to tonight's showcase of the Pink Puff League. We are racing tonight the beloved Reject Percent flag set full of characters that uh, many runners would maybe scoff at. Well, time to do something with them when they're your only option. Uh, I'm Scarcerer. Joining us on the restream tonight is NG Dave. Pressing all the buttons is Dubward and in the comms booth, stuck with me, is Harumph. How are you doing tonight, Harumph? Um, I was doing great until I saw objective number five. It's not required. It's five of six. They don't have to do that. Oh, hopefully a reason we're here, like, uh, for my sake, at least. <laughs> uh, didn't do that, but yes, it is five of six here, and... Yeah, like, again, we are dealing with um, recheck percentage here, so again, the uh, the characters who again aren't the first choice here, but individually or as a collective here can be you know greater than the sum of their parts. Yeah, uh, we've got a radio start. I don't hate and it. <laughs> it's good uh, on the beta, which we're playing on. The Bahamut Orb has been moved from tier seven to tier six, and with the wildish treasure option that is likely to show up. Yep, not, uh, not only that here, you also have, you know, a lot of gear here that uh, with the uh, fine seal wilders, or you can purchase here, that will help, you know, boost that magic up. You've also got uh, the self glitch on here, so as long as you don't have Rydia in, in, in the center slot, slot one, um, if you still spell should, and put, and self can be really easy to find here. That can also, you know, push your uh, early game. If you find an early self there, you, um, you can have, like, to get a few levels on theoretically on the cast of that spell. That's usually yeah. good for about a thousand or so. The Sylph is in the same it's got I believe the spell power of Sylph is 120. And for reference, the spell power of Virus is 128. So damage wise, Sylph will do about as much as a Virus. Uh, it takes about ten times longer for the animation, but it, when it's your only option, it's a good option. You won't find itself at the uh, at um, Mount Hobbs though, because uh, we do have Vanilla Hobbs and Grow up here. So Rudy's uh, going to learn Fire One if he <laughs> takes a visit to Hobbs, and uh, Grow up here will learn the uh, uh, six, even uh, six uh, Vanilla all spells. And we're off. We'll just see, you know, who our initial pairing is. You got Aridia. And Edward, Team 90 HP. This is a starting twin harp. This is uh, interesting. Uh, I would like to, I would like a refund, and I would also like to speak to the manager. Well, I think you have a direct line to him as far as the manager goes. Uh, but the refund machine is uh, unfortunately broken. It has been for several years. There are McDonald's which have, you know, more reliable ice cream machines, I suppose. But, uh, like, man, we've got, uh, now we've got three characters on here, so... Do you go character hunting first, or we, uh... Try to get some gear right away? Um, I think both approaches are valid. Uh, Blue's Eclipse, remembering, you know, with a, with a boss hunt on the list, is checking Mist Cave immediately. Resets it out because it's not demist. Uh, Matic on uh, chooses to uh, take a look at uh, the characters from Sid here, finds a uh, form and a Sid. As early Sid is not too shabby. Yeah, and from the looks of this, we got a better kit and the meme kit. Meme kit worth a solid 31,000 gold which with the more expensive life potions on the beta is uh, always welcome. Um, life potion is slightly more in a premium these days here. With, with the beta here... You're you a thousand a pop. <laughs> yeah. Inflation has a fact. Uh, uh, so, um, what a Final Fantasy was always. And while our beloved life potions have more than quintupled in price, a lot of other things, which don't have too much effect here, have, made, have been made cheaper. Uh, 
Importantly for this flag set, the Cat Claws have been dropped from 30,000 gold to 10,000 gold. And our Tier 4 instead of Tier 5. So it might be... I don't know the exact weights for T-Wildish, but you're probably more likely to find a couple. You're definitely more likely to use them because, well, Yang can punch pretty good. And again, Monik uh, does find a Yang here. Also, though, here found, found a, a looks like a white spear and a defense sword. Which, if you had a cane or uh, if you had a cane in this uh, flag set, you'd be gold. Instead, it's probably gonna go, it may go towards you know the life uh, life boat fund or the siren fund. Yeah, on this standard, our sirens will be available in the underground, or rather, in any gated item shop, which almost all of which are underground. You got all the white. Because <laughs> I thought I saw people here. Um, I just Monix, uh, taking going up Tamsin to uh, watch the hovercraft, and we'll see if he put the Hamid orb in the watery pass. Ooh, and I don't think Monix on. went that far either. No, he just grabbed uh, Yang and left. Can't blame him. He can take a. It can feel like an eternity having to. <laughs> loop through Watery Pass when you don't have an exit to get out. Monik finds another Sid and chooses to uh, drop the Edward. But, you know, this early on, we, um, although the spoon flag is on, flag is on, you still need to find the spoon. <laughs> and that is uh, one Blarg we won't be seeing uh, today. We have a, uh, a wide range of waterfall. Everyone's favorite dragon taking a shower, and we uh, won't be seeing what he had to say. It was Witchburn, but you don't have to kill it, so we probably won't be seeing it. Yeah, it probably would have been something silly like that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah, well. Hoping for Lit 3 burn one day. I think that's a nice spell. Alright, well, we see one blues. A little more, like a little more of a thorough one. Um, choosing to go to the uh, here, and aside from the advancing danger, and what? what? <laughs> yeah, well, it is T Wildish. It is also T Junk. Normally, uh, a lot of items which are considered tier one, like the Paladin Shield, the Larm. They're considered junk and are automatically converted into money when placed in the item chest. T junk, they are. You have to sell it yourself. Alright, um, I'm not saying we see that there, we had another, I believe, another Sid <laughs> on Mount Hobbs, uh, which. I don't want to take here, but it looks like uh, this is going to take a dark health fight to you know, probably to gain a little bit of experience. Um, Rydia has stayed down. Oh, oh. Just directly here. That he, he might think, like, think of using Rydia as a tank in here, but it is, you know, uh, has the agility of Molasses. Uh, typically, you're going to have him as your uh, as your anchor, which is probably what's going to be the setup going forward now that you have a party. Uh, yeah, got a few levels on here. Put a little bit of... Uh, extra uh, buffer room here for the, uh, when it comes to HP. We have Blue's now diving and can't fly. We're actually seeing a fair amount of divergence early on in terms of, uh, in terms of, you know, what really checks are taking. And it is going to follow down the uh, line. Uh, I'm here for to learn for Hobbit. I don't believe she's even going to cast it yet, though, because I don't believe yet, because uh, the here doesn't have any levels <laughs> uh, yet. And uh, that was the. Uh, 
get to them, apparently, at the back. <laughs> of, uh, it's at the uh, safer spot at the end of the game. Um, it's a little prep here um, on this side here. Uh, right here, getting some walls on, uh, putting a, a little check to see what really has. This is a Sineki here, so um, our characters will come with a. Uh, a low tier weapon here and not much else. Anything else is uh, not up to what you find. And, and what Matic finds at the uh, bottom of the cave is Calbrina. Yeah, one of the J items from our starting pit should clear this rather easily. A thousand HP split six ways, not split evenly, but still split is uh, a stiff breeze could push these dolls over. In exchange for the boys, we get a Zeus Rage. So we're trading um, ice for lightning. <laughs> and because Kelbrick and the already pitiful XP is made even worse because dolls aren't worth much, it's the big doll that gets most of the XP. Well, walking out here, and yeah, I don't blame Ivy's for the like again. But early on here, Especially when you have like a a really get here, you're trying to get you know, as much as you can here for that for the uh, summon spells that you you are eventually going to get if you're going to take a really get. You definitely want to be ready, prepared here to uh, be able to use them effectively. Honestly, I just think neither of our runners dropped a save outside of uh, Antlion Cave. It's not a very risky spot, so there's not much incentive to save before going in. I mean, like, there are, like, a few corner cases here, but when is that, you know, when has a corner case ever bit anyone but? <laughs> Never. No. It must happen. Uh, selling on something, uh, there is a crystal armor, three white spears, a Murasame. Yeah, you've got, you've got enough gold for the rest of the, for, for uh, most, if not the rest of the game. <laughs> Yeah, they're at the point where they can probably uh, casually buy some elixirs. And if Tella stays in, uh, you know, we haven't gotten a dedicated healer yet. Sure, Rydia with Sylph and Ashura can get the job done. But most people want, you know, Horum, Tella, Sid with yeah, stack of Cure 3s. Like the fact that Tella hasn't been seen yet here is interesting. Um... When you have an eight legs at here, like with you know a form and a Ridia here, both who learn there are really high power spells really great. Uh, usually the go-to is the machine. Uh, without a tell though to cast weak, that's off the tape. Yeah, I believe one of our runners peaked the uh Kaipo bed where you turn into Sand Ruby, and that and that's a tell. But that requires us to find the sand ruby. Now, that's not to say there's other, well, that there's not other grinds in the world here, but you know, it, it can, especially if you find an early spoon, you, you know that could incentivize our runners here to go you know, here towards a, a melee strat as, as opposed to uh, a reflex strat here. When it comes to uh, when it comes time for that final fight against Rumps. And is going to do a little shopping <laughs> with uh, the party's newfound riches. Uh, Blues is in for pool here, so we'll see who um, is our uh, party of five has to uh, defend for pool against. Probably. I think I saw Matic purchase a number of kamikazes, uh, a useful item which deals damage equal to your HP to yourself and one enemy of your choosing. Useful for the objective twin harp cutscene. There's not a lot of magnetic equipment available for Yang. So uh, getting him down is a quick way to get through that cutscene. Yeah, uh, yeah that's one way here. Uh, another, you know, like niche, uh, niche strategy move, Iron Rings. <laughs> So 
also um I believe I'll we'll also trigger here the uh, the heart factor, and pretty much anyone in the party here can wear one of those. I believe everyone except for Dark Knight Cecil can equip the uh, Iron Ring, and the only and you know you can't uh, shenanigans aside, you can't access Magnus Cave in vanilla with Dark Knight Cecil. All right, so let, we're going to take a look. See who's storm in the castle. And, uh, we've got our Odin spot here. Uh, the Zeus Ray is going to come handy. <laughs> very much so here. This is the. Uh, Odin is not going to be long for this world. Yeah, like, the seat's coming together pretty nicely for a runner so far. We haven't seen anything too, uh, too unnecessarily mean. <laughs> Well, we've seen something, having Odin out of the way, because Odin can be rude at spots that have good defensive ability. You know, somewhere with a lot of HP that you can't knock him out immediately. Hello, we have our Darkness Crystal. Uh, yeah, Pool decides to uh, gift us the uh, Darkness. So we've got our Moon Access yeah. Do you think our runners will uh, check that early? Uh, I think our run. It's a potential. There's potential to check it early here. If we do find a tell of uh, ordeals, because I don't believe anyone's checked that character, um, made that character check it. If we do find a tell at ordeals, so we are pro we may very well likely see you know a uh, no grab a tell of. Well, in this case, it's a form here. Uh, so. Yeah, like at this point here, I'd be looking for uh, for characters, right? Um, like looking for that Tela first off before we going to the moon, or even going to the moon to see if Tela just has to be on the lower dais. If not, maybe resetting back and checking uh, back up on Earth here. I mean, we still do not have underground access um, yet here, either with the heart or the uh, egg. Yeah, and the the unsafe flag is not on, so the randomizer's logic will ensure that there is a way underground on the overworld. And Ooh, yeah. Plague out of the way. Curse rings for sale in Silvera. Uh, with all the extra money, the increased price isn't much for trouble for our runners. But I'm sure you all noticed. There's 66,000 cold on the beta. They are expensive. The idea was to set people back when they wanted to buy one. Yes. Yeah, to make it, yeah, because uh, with the right gear, uh, the concept of uh, agility manipulation uh, was a little, maybe perhaps a little too easy here. So with, especially in the flag set here, where in where your uh, GP sources are far more limited here. It does, you know, force you to think of uh, alternate methods here. And on Maddox's side, we see a wipe here to the uh, the plague here. It's one of the one of the potentially one of the meaner spots is if you have a, a lower um, a lower tier party um, because plague doesn't do any damage here, but can't still count here. Once the count hits zero, well, that's a nightmare. <laughs> See Blue's in choosing to launch the uh, the big wheel, and we'll see uh, where he chooses to go from there. And I'm saying we are seeing, you know, use of you know, Sid firing arrows here. Uh, I believe both Sids are back Um, uh, but you know, trying oh, to uh, help him. Okay. Outracing the damage here, and again here on note of note on Maddox, uh, Maddox side, did not find a uh, that Bahamut, which would one shot <laughs> like it make this fight far more trivial. Yeah, 
Uses the doesn't take save, just goes straight across the bridge and finds um, our Dark Knight in a French Frenchish vanilla or artificial vanilla location at the Mylon Z spot. This uh, won't be an issue here given how much each, uh, given that you know, Sid and uh, to the lower, uh, to the left of here are both uh, HP tanks. Ooh, and the agility was such that they were able to bring up both of the squishy mages before the sort of miniature cutscene of the Dark Knight's death played. Trouble here, well, then see what's in the, uh, in the um, in the room at the, uh, at my old deals. And with, and with the inevitable completion of the Mandal deals here, if you do find that Tella, well, we're prepped for a, uh, a D machine grind. Lose his fault. Who's this following? <laughs> We're both saying the same thing here. Yes. Who's the <laughs> deals? They will uh, high five at some point on the way down. We've got a uh, not much yet, and this is disappointing for our runners. Truly uh, really disappointing. Much, you'd much rather see uh, King Queen Evelyn here at a. Uh, at a rude spot because they're very free. They're the freest boss in the game. At this spot here, yeah, you, uh, you would like to see one of your, one of your big nasties. Well, well usually. Are, uh... <laughs> yes. I think this um, party might have struggled with Valvalis in the mirror room. I don't know how her physical defense is here. I uh, like with a um, yeah, like Val here. If you if you've got like with, with you know this type of party here, you'd be fine. <laughs> but yeah, here aside from a uh, future buff Tella here. Not much up here except disappointment. Well, there is a, a, a this is a this is a good play outside of going for tele because the, there is a boss on on the board, and the K no free flag is on. So anywhere where there's more than one boss is a good place to go because it's multiple shots at that mist dragon. Yeah, I yeah for sure here and I yeah the tele buff in in it of itself is I think worth it here. Tele is a great utility. Uh, major, especially when buff here, you've got, you know, access to a whole bunch of spells here that can uh, take care of a lot of, you know, monster boxes. Uh, a lot of, you know, one-offs here. Um, a second source of blink. Uh, one, you know, first or first second source of blink here, depending on uh, how early you find the Tella. And a heroin robe in, uh, Baron proper. <laughs> How about that here? And a free curse ring. Why spend the 66 k here when you can just take one for free? <laughs> well, and, you uh, see a set of blue ropes here, which means that this is our our Oaks Gauntlet. This is always fun. Yeah, there's a few places where, like, the question's gonna be would don't like to see, you know, uh, KQE at the Milan Ordeals here. Seeing the gauntlet here, this makes the Baron in check a little bit more time consuming because normally here this is a fairly low eight. The first Baron uh, in one is a lower HP spot here. You'd almost rather see this on Baron in two, but uh, such is life <laughs> today. Like this is also a fight here. I think Blues, uh, Blues may uh, have a faster time with here again because of access to um, having the AOE. On. Uh, 
on here making um, a tactical use of the uh, of the earth hammer uh, to you know get a little bit of damage in here. It is isn't it enough here to uh, knock it, not to knock all our enemies down here, but it's certainly going to help you know chip away at this here, just uh, speed things up a little bit. There are, I believe, are there floating enemies in the uh, Baron 1 gauntlet? Yes, there are. The Electfish are floating enemies, and so the uh, Earth Hammer won't be as effective here. Uh, and neither with the Zeus Rages here, because uh, Electfish. <laughs> yeah, a lot of... <laughs> A lot of the absorptions of enemies in Final Fantasy IV can be a little esoteric and mean, but the Electfish, they tell you, we like electricity. Give it to us. Om nom nom. Yeah. So, like, I'm going to Where? That's here, maybe? Looks like it's going to fall. Yeah, fall. Not here to here. So, we're going to see some, you know, Zero, uh, while they're going through the, make them starting to make way through the uh, through the gauntlet. And if you think that you know, if you think that you know, hey, I like you know, I like you know, to check out free enterprise, but I don't know where to start. Our Discord is a great place to start. Um, it's our official discussion channel here, um, and the Pink Puff League is designed here to introduce new players to the game. So if you um, if you Try to sell for the first time, or even, or if you're coming back, you can come back to Free Enterprise after a while here. Um, you got, you know, a bunch of people who are uh, always willing to help. Matic is at the last uh, of the gauntlets here, and then we'll see who's at Baron 2 here. Now, if you see someone mean at Baron 2, that's uh. I I could get behind that. <laughs> like a gold bezant uh, two here would be unkind. <laughs> a gold bezant at two here would be horrific for blues, I believe. Um, judging from the way his character is acted, that his porum, who is acting as the anchor, has a heroin robe on. And typically, that's the good idea here. The boss spots are incredibly slow. And making... Oh, it's evil. Yes, now. This is... This is nice. Ah, uh, I don't know here. Evil wall bunches pretty hard here, and... Although this is a slow spot, when he does... Evil wall does cheat a bit in the script here, so... Like, it... It should be slow enough that... You know, this one... Right here, and... At this spot, there's no uh, experience once we gain, so there's no uh, opportunity cost in not, in, uh, not reviving a character. But yeah, like if there was, this were a smaller party here, this would be a much uh, more precarious position. Do you know if we started those with those illusions, or if uh, Matt Tick bought them? That's a good question because I actually don't remember what's in the uh uh get off the top of my head. Uh according to our research here, Amatic did make that purchase though in Kaipo. But somewhere along the way here, you know, did pick up a stack of it here. Uh, proving to be a uh a boon, I would a, say. Not the pick. Well, our our young gives us something to hit him. Uh, trying to send a message. <laughs> I do believe. Uh, I, I do believe Young has some bad news for you, Rumpf. Because the if unless I'm mistaken, our runners are down to only one spot for their logical underground access. Um, 
And that's the objective spot of the uh, Cave Magnus. Uh, there's always the dream of uh, D-Mist. Because there's no free key item on, um, D-Mist at... Uh, oh, D-Mist at Sun. The Rex banner for all logical underground matches. <laughs> that would be rude. It's not not the first time I've seen... Oh, I would have seen it. <laughs> No, I remember a race where I thought it was behind, like, I thought there was a projection here behind a alt gauntlet at the Leviathan I was trying to take, um, trying to take at an early level here, and you find out, you know, that, wait, is it my way through? Like, oh crap, it's up one. It's <laughs> At the very least, <laughs> you know what's going. You should... It can be a little tricky to figure that out the first time. But hopefully that with the objective of defeat D missed, our runners will be a little more aware than usual that Zot could hold the answer without the Earth Burst. And that's not even to say here that if we find, say, a, a free boss on the moon, say a Cape Bahamut, we could see the other. Like, there's no, there's no rule saying that you couldn't get... you. You can't get moon uh, underground access on the moon. It's just that you're good. Uh, the other underground access on the moon, I should say. <laughs> yeah, we don't have force magma or force hook on, so the alternate underground, the illogical underground access, could be up here on the moon. And if the illogical underground access is the hook, one of our runners could position themselves advantageously by getting that on the moon and going and chasing that as their underground access. Because we have the launch of the Falcon objective. Just, we'll see who our uh, moon character is. And... It's Sid. I think that's Sid number four. He has enough Sid. <laughs> Sid is great, but uh, I don't know... I don't know how good four SIDs is unless you have four adamant armors. Yes, and no adamant, and no adamant is on here, so uh, yeah, <laughs> you don't need that many SIDs. Yeah, I think two SIDs is plenty. Uh, I'm just gonna check out Cape Bahamut. Yeah, at least take a you know, at least to see who the boss is. And... That is theoretically free. Theoretically? Oh, they have a curse ring, so it is free. You just uh, have somebody with the curse ring as your anchor and you hold A. And as <laughs> And Mattex doing just that, giving his anchor a curse ring, dropping down to BS6, a little bit of safety. This this spot punches ludicrously hard. Yes. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this spot and the uh, King of Monsters spot in the Fame Arch are tied for the highest tech in the game. It looks, if it's not if it's not the highest, it's definitely you know, it's certainly amongst some of the top two or three. Um, yeah, you do not want to get hit by and really. You know, anything physically over here so um we might see you know, one of our characters go down here but I'm, uh i'm sure you know to get a, a moon check out this early here certainly going to be you know a net benefit and and yeah with the agility set up there uh gets the three hits before water hag can take a swing a nice xp you know, injection about the same as, as, as almost on the par with an egg. And? Oh, that's well, half an objective. It's not a way underground, but it's half an objective. So we are, you know, a little, well, a little bit closer here to uh, our uh, end stage here. Um, Lucid Clip having exhausted all but one of the checks on, on the overworld uh, is now way down the person cave. 
Yeah, this is, is this is a logical play from Blues, but I I truly enjoy what Mattek did. Chasing illogical underground access is uh, you know coming after my heart, honestly. Man, you know it might not even be a no chase point the uh, illogical heart access here. Again, seeing if that you do have that free boss for that is about thirty thousand so. Um, it's 35k. Yeah, 35k game experience here. More than what you came in with here, which um, in an early game is can be pretty significant. Yeah, I think it was five levels on at least one of his characters. I didn't quite catch who because he has them all nicknamed. Uh, I got here, we do see black belts. Black belts. One of the items that was made more expensive in the beta, but again, this is T Wildish with a bunch of characters that can't equip the really good gear, so our runners have a surplus of gold. Yeah. Uh, it also buys a, uh, a self summon. Uh, yeah, I believe it's not a deal first. No, attack the spell. Uh, or the video here, because I, I don't believe I can sound either a uh, Bahamut or a Leviathan, for that matter. But I think it's time for music, so I'll be quiet before I get smacked. Get a reprise um, shortly afterwards. We did see the rare Bahamut whiff here, uh, given that the uh, first uh, that first stage of Don't Talk to has perfect magic. Yeah, there's shot. still a chance. There's still a chance. It can still be DMist having the hook at Zot One. Thank you. 
Okay, and we'll soon have his, uh, his magma key. Uh, it's, it's now in anchor here. Um, wasn't it, it came as come to anchor here to drop it again to uh, drop that like key down the well when it really should be wind heart being thrown down the well. Someone should make that change. <laughs> I mean, anyone can make that change now. The game has gone open source. The code for 4.5.0 was published. So, yeah, if you know some Python, <laughs> you, know, you can uh, change it to your heart's desire. I know I have. <laughs> have you added that in your fork, the ability to throw the twin harp in the well? Oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's coming. Uh, I just need to work out some things. But yes, uh, for limit, like, no, yeah, you've got, you know, one, um, a, a, I believe it, I don't, I want to say Esperant, but I might be mistaken here uh, with you. Um, you know, for example, has a, a fork where uh, you can select all, you, know, um, you can combine wacky flags. You're not no longer limited to just one, with some exception. Yeah, there are some wackies that simply don't work together, and so exceptions remain so that people wouldn't try to generate them. I believe that is something Wylam developed yeah, it was and then Esgrunt but it's available in Esgrunt's fork as well. Okay, it's a little bit of shopping done. Well, at least browsing. <laughs> Before I headed down, uh, heading down to Pay March. So far as you know, after the moments. Yeah, we've got a free key item down here, and the uh, what is normally the rat tailed chest, our Fame March, our beloved Fame March freebie. And K Summon is on, so there's two but the two boss spots here are key item checks. Um, but you know, at these spots, here, you could potentially run into some there's some potentially nasty surprises that could be down here. Even for a, uh, for a, uh, uh, for a mid, you know, for a mid to higher tier, for, um, <laughs> mid to higher tier levels, depending on in your party. Free Earth Crystal, that's nice. And with the T Wildest Treasury, that's several shots at a uh, Stardust Rod for our Redia, Artemis Bows for our Sids. Find our. Uh, Sirens at Dwarf Castle, so uh, 30 Sirens and a Dream is also on the table. Oh, especially with how much money our runners have. Though, I suspect um, they would, both of our featured runners and anyone who's racing this, you know, on their own streams, uh, would be checking that pan first before going for a grind, because that could net you three key items, and that'd put you close enough that you just go do Oh, there's D-Mist. D-Mist at the Leviathan spot. Um, As we mentioned familiar, earlier, that's very punchy. Definitely, and also very familiar here to uh, our restreamer. I hope I didn't bring back, in, uh, that didn't bring back any bad memories. Oh, tiaras for sale in Dwarf as well. The yep, plus uh, 10 wisdom on Rydia is significant. Definitely adds a little bit more room here to those, uh, to those sons. 
Yeah, I believe it's three multipliers, and uh, with Bahamut's base power, I think it's 480. That's like almost an extra thousand damage per cast. It's mm. oh, it's a lot. I think this Chara is probably my favorite item in the game. And we've got Blockus and, uh, in the uh, is uh, yeah, box and the uh, that is uh, armor. <laughs> uh, so we've got some options on the table here if we do elect to go here with uh, a uh, the Sids and Young. <laughs> I believe that was sorcerer robes and heroin robes for sale in the march. That's wonderful. You want your source you want your mages to hit things hard or do you want them to hit things hard? The answer to that question is yes. <laughs> and having finished their shopping, both of our runners are converging on the Sylph Cave uh, by walking up to the sleeping Yang here and hitting him on the head with the pan. The Sylphs who so kindly nurse them back to life will give you an item. Yeah, I uh, wonder if the FDA has approved it. I don't know, but his wife says it works and it wakes him up, so... And that's awfully dark because uh, uh, our cells gave us a coffee. A very useful item. I do question what the cells are trying to say, though. I think they're saying an early grind is a good grind. As, uh, and Matic is taking that to heart, popping a siren, getting, I believe it's 36,000? Is it how many? I, it's been a while. 34,000 34, from this egg. So that's as, you know, almost as much XP as was in Cave Bahamut. So level wise, Matic should be nice and shored up for mm, probably most of the rest of the Blue Planet shenanigans. And for record here, the total count of signs I did see purchased from on that side was, I believe, seven. Good to know here, like this, like the, you know, let's see if we when, when and if and when here those uh, rem remaining signs come in. Well, theoretically, hourglasses are available, so perhaps Matic was thinking not of an egg grind, but of fighting. Oh, there's the Excalibur from our key item pool. With the Omode Forge, one of the key items is replaced with an Excalibur. Is, you know, one of our key item rewards it is the Excalibur. No one to wield it, but that sells for a pretty penny. Yeah, but Classic Forge here, uh, Coco keeps what he's forging. Looks like he decided to uh, gift it with uh, Mila. I'm guessing she had no use for it either here. It may be a little bit uh, too large here for... Uh, for a dinner prep. She's, uh, yeah. I was thinking more in the case of self-defense, and still, she's more apt with a spoon in that regard. Um, Playable so Sheila when? It's going to take advantage of that earth. We're going to take a look at a treasury. Um, there are, you know, there are you know, items that we would like to see down here, like Stardust Rods, Anything that's just... Two would be nice. Oh, a power shirt. power shirt. That's nice. A moon veil. Also, potentially big. Uh, uh, a moon Ready? veil makes that demist for me. The, nice. the physical defense buff from a moon veil is yes. Yeah, like it's. Uh, try and hit me. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah, you just. Get... Oh, take a movie, drink shirt. a little wine, have fun tonight. <laughs> well, it would take a while, so you would uh, have your moon veil, drink some wine, and go uh, make a sandwich. Depends on the sandwiches. I can go for a peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I feel it will take speak and says... Maybe later. Doesn't want to take either the vanilla Asura or the. Where you cut. Next year, the blues is making the tower climb. This. 
two character checks. Potentially two SIDs. <laughs> I'm really sure there's somebody in our community who would uh, greatly enjoy two SIDs. And it is an objective. We were so hung up on the harp that we missed that Tower of Zot is an objective. So it'll be forward progress for Blues and for Matic once he gets there. Because he, do, he too has the Earth Crystal. Here where Demas should have been, holding a Magma Key. I digress. Uh, is the uh, take time here to uh, buff our care uh, buff the uh, party here with the newfound gear from the uh, from the uh, Royal Treasury. Uh, the uh, our ropes can screen to good use. Yeah, here like with this here. Was that yeah, and the spare Bahama orb also from the treasury? Yes, there was that a would second put Bahama on. Well, oh, that'll, that'll put Matic on par with uh, Blues if he likes to leave the treasury. Yes. And you're like, there's still enough, you know, good here. Six here. <laughs> but, you know, that all the treasury is worth it here because, like, with that standard here, you only get, you only find tier six at. A coach requires you to find forge, which may or may not come into play depending on where the uh, where the adamant rock is. I think that something that would give Matic at least a temporary edge is if it's up here in Zod, because that would put that would make his investment into Bahamut worth more than just the XP. I thought when we do see a mom bomb, which again you're fine with your you see the uh, keep the uh it didn't take mom bomb quite out here. Normally it's like uh the spot's like 9k or uh, total or HP here, but mom bomb does get an additional I think 10k <laughs> uh for the uh for this figure here. So that Mohammed will take We'll have our uh, head up to our next two. So with some uh, back of the back of the napkin math, it would appear that if this is the adamant rock, it'll put Matic in go mode. Complete the tower of Zot. Yeah. Complete the forge, and he knows where Demist is, and he has a darkest crystal for giant. So far here, um, we're de we're now down to the possibility of only one sit because it is a uh, a form. Uh, we find the first character, and you're right that it's it double. Wrong about who the double, double was. Uh, so still no tell. <laughs> Uh, or, um, no tell here. Uh, no second tell, I should say here. Uh, and no sand ruby. Yeah, unless there's a tell in the giant of Babel or this next to sand ruby, it's highly unlikely our runners uh, get the uh, wise sage. Uh, yeah, and you have a uh, Clyken here. Um, yeah, again, not there's not gonna be a lot of bosses here. problematic here, especially with uh, the here and a Bahamut. We'll see what our key item is here. Yeah, we don't have, um, I believe this, like, there's, wouldn't be any other treasure, so everything else would need to be underground or on uh, here, if this doesn't lead to any sort of progression. We'll find that out. Can we have a hook? So in this um, seed, the Tower of Zot is required. 
and the power is on is also is, go mode. It's go mode. <laughs> okay, um, Forge is no longer in play necessarily. <laughs> We do have our second Tella, and lose Alex not to face to go through the chat. If Demist has the Adamant Rock, that would be a quicker route to the Crystal for Matic. So long as he remembers to check it and doesn't simply go through the, you know, go through the paces with Go. Yeah, um, and it, with that spot being punchy, that could, no, that may be, you know, something that would disincentivize the runner suit, because it, even at these, even, you know, at these levels here, um, it's still, you no know, chewing through, uh, 37, around 37 AFK, uh, So, it's gonna take a little bit of time. It could be about Poppins and Hourglasses here. So, uh, yeah, so whether you want to do... Maybe if you don't pour to Oyster now when it comes to drag, drag eggs. I'm not sure if you found any dragon books yet here, but... Uh, gold dragon. <laughs> uh, we have right. Bahamut awesome. and Odin. So, <laughs> gold dragons are on the table. Was hiding in the cave, and well, as we down, tower babble the other way. <laughs> oh, that's gross. There are worse spots to find a gold best here, but because the uh, I don't believe the. I don't think the matchbox is that high here, and again, we have got some HP tanks. Yeah, you would need uh, a lot of the shenanigans to be ready for the Golbez fight. Going into the Golbez fight aren't possible when he's at hook two, because you get a free full heal before that fight. We haven't, the anchor situation is you know, figured out at this point here, so whether you want to use the ready here to see the um, have a large was possibly or you know Zerk sit up here with an earth hammer. <laughs> so, options are about for that here. The one trick potentially trickier spot here would be depending on which boss shows up at the one. That spot punches. It punches, it's fast. But it doesn't have a lot of HP. So unless it's... I think we've seen the traditional nasties of DKC and uh, Odin removed from the pool. And Evil Walls also. Uh, yeah, so like... It's, again, here... Could be able to get through here, provided here a board AI does not come into play. Yeah, and yeah, this. And the physical cool. attack doesn't matter. Yeah. All of the CPU's attacks are HP based. Well, based on your yeah. HP. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ten percent of the uh, maximum HP of each of the uh, characters. This is basically free period. Um, it's just a matter of you know, it's just a matter of you know how much time it takes depending on what spot. It's at. One guard will take. You. is going to uh, ask uh, what was to start his comedy routine. We'll see what the punchline is.
Who do you think is going to stay up on, on the side? Uh, hopefully that uh, Porum, because she didn't get paralyzed and thus has extra time to throw up a Star Veil. There? I think Porum and Yam. Down. Boom goes down. And a whiff. Oh, she's got a ribbon on. Ah. There was a free ribbon uh, going up Mount Ordeals. Effective use. <laughs> effective use of that ribbon, for sure. I mean, the primary use case is to, uh, Tell Golbez new. And goes up a little bit here, throws the uh, fire cast directly at. <laughs> and then falls it up here with <laughs> the three directly at them. Yeah, like the. It always just takes a little bit of time here, um, so we don't have, you know. Holy Cassidy, you have to chip away, you know, at a fair amount of age here, but yeah, aside from Lit 3, I don't think these spells are gonna uh, even without it. Yeah, and Sid has that Earth Hammer, which is hitting Golbez's weakness to fire. And uh, nothing resists Bahamut. Bahamut kills all. Well, I suppose. Oh. Perfect. Well, it'll take a second, Bahamut, but uh, yeah, this is uh, on its way here to being over. Mantic is about to uh, play his comedy show, hopefully. Uh, yeah, like these walls are not going to be very often. So you don't get, um, you won't get experience on either the. Uh, Young or the Edward here, but yet yeah, Edward really isn't in play yet here because we don't have to play And a lot of well, the quarter cases that you know you may want edge to hide, uh, to hide spirits here, a lot of those are off the um, are no longer on the table. Yeah, I think the, the remaining large scale hide strat is uh, <laughs> hide strats for Zeromus, which we have enough power that those are not necessary in the slightest. Yeah, uh, Eddie Strats, you know, um, certainly a favorite uh, for some people. If you have a super early go mode, um, it could potentially be faster here than finding a party and getting a grind, depending on what you have available. Again, here we've got options. We have a grind options. Uh, tactical options. So we're not uh our choice here. Um we the resources are there here for uh, for our runners here to go ahead here with their strategy of choice. Monikir has only the sit up here, so this is potentially a little dicier if the uh, the wall does wear off. Right now, here we're not seeing we're seeing the order hits on Golbez here on the basis that you know we've got one character up here and without a uh, Bahamut, so this is going to take considerably more time. Gets you know some good um RNG there here. The uh two spells here that could have hit Ridia here um hits uh the waltz instead here, and then it's thus uh, Ridia's able to get that her wall up here, which makes this fight considerably faster. Do you think he loses hunting for a talent? I believe that would be the case here because again, we are in normal here, so they're 
So in terms of objectives here, there isn't a requirement here for uh, Royal Council here, but Blues, uh, Blues also did check um, the patent, they did check Mist here to see the package character. And we know there's a Tello there here, so yeah, I'm not sure. This will be it tomorrow. It'll be interesting. To, um, please, uh, we, um, we can ask him here if um, you know, after the race. He, he does come in the, uh, the warp glitch is also on. So, unfortunately for Blues, this won't be simply both halves of Forge. But the play could have been, oh, this could be simply both halves of Forge, and that would have been, and that would be quicker than completing the giant. Uh, let's have you get sin number five. <laughs> uh, a recent game also been played here. It could be a play here to get to the um, the max number ten. It could, uh, speed up your grind because once you hit ten key items, your things that you earn doubles. Is currently at eight key items. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Blues is at eight key items here. Modic is at nine. So, or this is the payoff here. We're I we need you know, you know, two key items here and have one of them. That uh, if one of them happens to be. What, yeah, here, I don't, I don't see the check of people. I'm at this point here, so yeah, I'm not... Again, I'm really, there's something I'm going to have to ask after the race or what you need. It could be, you know, like, yeah, I'm, aside from key items here, I'm not sure. Um, an adventure here would be fantastic with a different flag set. Um, it's going to keep it here for some Cash infusion potential later on. We will take a look to see what's behind that CLK. Okay, that boss protects no longer play here. And we have and another money. sword! <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Dwarf Castle, uh, we're gonna whiff on the objectives uh, on, um, on our key objectives and key item counts. So. I think the other thing I have to know is you're potentially looking to get, you know, as much HP as you can here. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure if Luce is found Sirens yet here. I don't I know Modic has burnt them here. I don't recall if Luce has the same that he has. Or maybe I, I, I uh, know where it is, but I have to purchase it. And I go. First into the uh, fight here. Um, not a great example because, well, that's a great example of you know, how punchy it can be here. Uh, one shots for him, one shots the young, and brings uh, the Sid to his knees. Fortun uh, fortunately, here you get a bit of time to recover because Gamist will take three swings at the party and then go into this goal here. Uh, while you can't attack the mist here, you can get the rest of your party up. And, yeah, and hopefully he... Matic has the timing down for these Bahamut casts, because the mist in the mist phase has perfect physical and magical defense. Well, we do see Bahamut number one here, but that does uh, get one shot the other Sid here for 2400. Don't go knock back down. He must cooperate here by going after the linked forum, so that thing misses. This is like you know where you know a second you know, if you had a second forum or the tele here, next to the leader. Look at this because you have that second source of blink here. Uh, 
So you're spending less, uh, less time bring, arriving the party up and then kind of just right, oh, your character's up right here to act in the attacks. Yeah, I'm like, oh, it looks like it does have a rhythm going here with the Bahamas. So as long as we don't have too mean <laughs> um, of a counter here. Um, should be wrapping up this fight in a one or two more cycles. Like, probably two more cycles. Like a couple of reasons on three quarters of the party here. I don't believe the radio is linked right now. So, um, still potentially vulnerable here to that counter attack here, but even decides to look the other way here, much at her peril. And <laughs> so that's Bahamut number three here. At the max here, so yeah, we're probably gonna see. Um, you might see, you know, once the swing taken down here, but it does look like here that you know, we're gonna have that. Uh, a fourth uh, Bahamut uh, has to uh, take out uh, the object objective number two. Have you ever had fourth breakfast? Have I had fourth breakfast? Uh, I can't see that I have. I'm not even sure what I would want for four. Me neither. I was just wondering. <laughs> uh, John, yes, this is a uh, gross spot to do this. And I believe both runners are anchored here. Uh, first screen um, were available for purchase and uh, for free at the uh, Baron Inn. Um, Baron Inn Treasury. So, yeah, so we know that uh, agility isn't an issue in this situation. Mathics through the first of our runners to defeat the mist. Okay, but this is Adam and Rock has become very interesting. Right. Uh, is it, don't we just get the end result? <laughs> Another Excalibur. It is, you know, too wildish, so that that could have been the Forge Excalibur. Any of these Excaliburs we find could have been the Forge Excalibur. You know, that means, you know, we have uh, room for a spicy giant. Oh, it looks like Matic's gonna make the same uh, gambit. Or he's, no, he's buying something. Yeah, are there is sirens for, um, here? This is for, yeah, sirens are for, uh, for, uh, for here, I believe. Um, yeah, looks, yeah, looks like it's Grabs a stack of 15, and... I suppose with all the XP in the seed, it's uh, no longer 30 sirens in a dream, but 15 sirens in a dream. Yeah, 15 here, like, I'm, I get the impression here that this will be uh, melee scraps we're looking at. So, um, for that um, yeah, that and Giant here, like, and you're looking at... With only uh, with nine key items here, you're looking at uh, 100 and 100, roughly 100 and 150 um, thousand experience, respectively. Uh, spots one and two, still a pretty decent, pretty pretty healthy. Uh, on this side here, we are seeing. Uh, a bit trickier of a fight here because we got more of the party down here. It's just the form that's up. Um, looks like it, I suspect it's a uh, Moonvale form. Uh, otherwise, you know, this fight would have been probably over by now. <laughs> uh, well, over here, um, like, we're going to be up at <laughs> this point here. Uh, Matic is getting to the right. Um, and, you know, if, you know, this will cooperate here. Uh, we're getting off a few uh, stronger attacks.
Wow, who's hand not a card. Uh, there are tasks here. Um, give the uh, be sure here to give uh, Grace the fall here. Uh, these links here to their uh, are in the chats here. Um, are two you know, up and coming runners here. Um, I'm not sure here. We'll make an imp. No, we're going to make an imp. Maybe we will make an impact here. I uh, want to turn around here. The people as we uh, brought forth um, some turn, you know, few tournament winners. So this is the place where champions are made. I'll just like this to a lot more precarious because the forum is down on the ground here. So it's just the Rivia here who has to do this here. And I'm seeing that even here, the frame does bring worry here because that does mean Demons will likely get a free swing. That'll knock like some of the uh, one, if not, and yeah, and but Rivia no longer blinked here. That is unfortunate here for a blue so what we uh attempt at here. Looks like he's shifting his anchor around, seeing who has the lowest agility to give a curse ring to, so that his form has more time to take actions and cast blinks by being at RA1 instead of RA5. Yeah, she's gonna make the Edward here. Also, it provides more turn for her other character characters, especially the forum. <laughs> uh, Ed Edward here isn't going to do much in this fight. Oh, um, that is unfortunate. And I, but that here, he would have blue bill, so it's going to. Get a bit of unfortunate, um, AI, unfortunate uh, Ford AI roll there, but unfortunately here it was. I guess you know, if there's anything fortunate here, it was an early redo here as opposed to one that you know takes place later on, like the, uh, the first. Now, um, now we are back to, to that port. Anchor, so there, were, there wasn't a save here in between. Here. Uh, okay. But the Moonbale is going up with Rydia this time. Yes. Uh, yeah, which means, you know, which will make the rest of the war here. But unlike an illusion or a blank cast here, uh, the physical defense provided by Moonbale here lasts for the duration of the fight here. So, any physical attacks. All this class will miss. The only thing you would potentially need to worry about would be a cold mist, but if you have full control of your character, and I think the character's not berserked, don't have to worry about that. And it's a sparkle at the uh, element spot. This is going to be rough. This is rough. <laughs> yeah, uh, 65 uh, K of Bogo isn't the most fun thing in the world. I believe the, the pain here is that prior to this, Matic's primary damage is Bahamut. Unfortunately, Ogopogo counters Bahamut with, I believe the ability is called Blaze, which deals to each party member damage equal to one quarter of their max HP. That combined with the big waves he throws out that also do one quarter of your max, it is very difficult to use spells against them. Yeah. See, um, you know, after the reset, uh, she's getting Rydia to learn Asura, which is, does make her a, a second, uh, I'll back up here to the, um, form as a, uh, or a cure, two thirds of the time at least, in theory. But even the full revive here isn't, like, if you have party members down there, isn't necessarily a bad thing. You might, you know, it may provide that buffer to get enough turn, turns here to get the party. Um, 
going to, you know, re regroup and recover. Though I think with this, uh, Matic has taken control of the fight. He has used, he decided to take a blaze counter and use a silk web to make, at this anchoring with the, the element spot speed, to have the speed of a Bokoro. <laughs> Well, we've got a group rhythm out here. We've got Ridius, now our, uh, our white mage, and Yang and our two sisters are now throwing hands. Well, Yang's throwing hands here. It's throw whatever he's got in his <laughs> Mostly we're seeing about 5k around. Take a little bit of time here, but we'll be able to make work of it here. The attack isn't so high that you necessarily you you're gonna see a one shot here from a mid to high XP rate, um, HP range um, to um, any of our melee. Good rolls. Been getting lucky with the uh, Ashura. Well, again, you get good luck two thirds of the time. <laughs> I believe it's going to be wrapping up this team like fight here. Oh, no. His fourth objective, uh, his uh, fourth objective, and we'll see where he goes from. Where he chooses to go from here, most likely um, towards uh, the giant for the final um, to be um, his final objective. But uh, we'll see the time maybe play here for something that, you know, that to speed the journey up. He did check through Dwarf, which could have been a play for key items. So if he is playing four key items, he could be going to check Demist. And if Demist has the Adamant Rock, that would be a, a quicker go mode. Um, but Bruce doesn't oh, have Oh, but he'd the, still have uh, to find Legend Sword, right. The Legend Sword here. Uh, the one thing which uh, potentially could make me could make be a slight time saver, although I think the gap's a little bit too large at this point. Like all things being held equal, would be a pax. That's one less trip down here, but there is uh yeah, it's the Luca key. Yeah, which uh now this is just thinking here. Uh, Luz is now looking to get the Tella. Which I, I, although we've you know, you see, you know, that Tella is, you know, a great, you know, utility character. I think there's, there will be some who might think here that this is a bit late to take a Tella. Your thoughts? I think this is the best time to take a Tella. I bet. I think, I think Blues is probably holding out for a Sand Ruby, so he wouldn't have to sit through this cutscene. But if this is right before the grind, then it's the perfect time. Because Tella enables the uh, D machine grind. Yes, but you know, with the amount of levels here that you could gain here, would you know the question is you know, would a siren grind potentially be faster? Um, I guess you know if if you were at ten key items here, yes here. I think with with eight here it might be more of a, a toss-up. It depends on you know, how many levels you feel comfortable going to the fight and what type of strategy you want to go into. This, if you're going D-Machine, you're probably going Mage Strat, so it would reflect Strat, I would think. Yeah, and if, um... This is maybe a little spooky for Batik. If he doesn't have the... Oh, no, he's got Star Glass up. This should be fine. If Matic didn't have Star Veils, this would have been spooky because this is a spot where you might not be able to damage race uh, Bahamut, and it's not a spot where you can walk off a Mega Nuke. I mean, it's 24,000 um, HP, I believe. If my memory serves me correct. 
yeah, it's not a lot of HP, but uh, if you saw where the count got to before Radius Bahamut got off, I don't know if the Berserkers were doing enough damage to fill the gap there. Yeah, that was pretty close. Um, Radius preemptively showing Asking Bahamut, was it Megan? Was it Blark? I will show you how. Uh, apparently, Bahamut showed himself. And did he knock, pour him down on purpose at the end there? Uh, the center form? I'm not. Yeah. Sure. But yeah, on the giants here. Okay, once uh, keep him down there. We have another Edward. <laughs> I believe it's. I think it's only second Edward. Yeah. Second, second Edward. Yeah, like all, all I remember are the sits and the forms that ditched along the way. <laughs> uh, this does put Matic in proper go mode, crystal in hand, darkness crystal in hand. He can go fight Zeromus. Yes. Um, looks like at first, you know, at you know, first time it looks like this um, is going to be. Mailing strap we're gonna see out of uh Matic. It'll be only to go with the amount of depending on the amount of damage uh, that goes out here we may have to see some nerves. Um while our we would tankier characters nerves. can 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 withstand one uh big bang on their own here. If that big bang takes out your mages. Yeah, that, um, we could get into a potentially tricky situation. The magic here will um, start to make a walk down here. Uh, we'll see, like, it'll be interesting to see here. Um, whether you know we, we see you know the uh, uh, go dragons um, summoned along the way here for a bit of a an XP and because notably here uh, oh, there's well, also always so, a ribbon okay. yeah um, and there are still a lot of free bosses on this like there's still. Officer, soldier, and guards on the table, as well as dark imps. And it looks like Blue's Eclipse is going for a D-Machine grind. Uh, counting, taking his steps very carefully so as to be able to more easily count them and reference a chart which was made available, which is it's, it's, it's available in the Discord and on the wiki, uh, to know exactly what encounter he's going to get and what he needs to do from here. It looks like he was lucky to get an encounter where it is the D-Machine fight off the bat, judging by his actions in the fight. Yes, uh, yeah, there's, 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 for what I can remember off the step parts here, yeah, this was, like, this was uh, one of the spots here where it's an automatic, automatic fight. Um, you don't get to see, you know, with the setup here, you don't get to see any of the, uh, any of the spicier options uh, for grinding here, like trap floors or Mac Giant. Was on the, like could have been on the table um, if one wanted to get me. I think you know, it would be really interesting. Um, fortunately, like we do have um, easier and better options here. For you. Who's here? Uh, Dave does bring up an ultimate interesting point here. Um, Helen isn't in the in the uh, center slot. Good. Who threw a hiccup into things here? Tenethon does provide an accuracy boost here, so um, it makes so Tell will typically not miss the week if that's uh, if the Tell is in the uh, in slot one. Center. Now that Tell is no longer in slot one, the potential is there for Tell to miss. 
So if this misses and Form does get the hit in, um, we're gonna see a counter attack. <laughs> and D Machine punches pretty hard. Very hard. The the you know the good way to circumvent that is if you have your turn order down pat, to simply wait until you see whether or not the weak misses before making the physical attack. You don't have to you know have everything queued up all at once. You can take it a little slow. This is the spot where we usually see um, some flags in play here uh, in the chat here. Um, I think it's nap time, is it not? I mean, uh, I suppose it might be a good time for a nap, but what's really coming up is the final battle. Zeromus has a lot of wacky things with this script. His HP gets set to a fixed value at some point. His magic power gets set to a fixed value at some point. It would be very rude to put him in the... Uh, you know, in like Antlion Cave. So instead, to keep in the spirit of Rando, what the developers did was, a, you know, create a way in which the sprite is randomized. Which leads to the eternal question of, whose butt are we kicking tonight? There's other questions, both, um, that sometimes get asked here. Usually I just want to know, who's, you know again, whose butt we're going to kick, who's, you know, the boost is going to moose. <laughs> Which rear end is meeting its end? <laughs> uh, but tonight we we got the the Trisid blue shell, <laughs> the game of many a Mario Kart race. Does have the so good packs here? Does protect the big hit here? Um, he get the card. hits the forum, which isn't a bad, it's not really a bad thing. Uh, radio here will likely survive the big bang here. And the Asura here, the cure here does go through, does go through walls. So it's not like Radiate here will cover here, but we'll likely try to bring up bring that for the early. That can hit them as a safe card. Yeah, with uh, 1200 HP, or north of 1200 HP, you will survive the nerf Big Bang because when the spell power is set for using nuke, it's at such a value that when the Big Bang is rolled, it'll max at 1200 damage. And that inspires the idea of 1200 strats, which with this much, with our, our runners have enough physical power that 1200 strats aren't necessary. And, yeah, our radio here did take for, uh, <laughs> 500. <laughs> or, you know, just try Yeah, it was a bit, of a, a bit of a low roll. Yeah. Um, we'll see if the Asura low rolls here, but you don't want to see uh, the gray face here. Like that. Like, like that gray face? <laughs> yeah, like that gray face. Uh, fortunately, the rest of, you know, Matic's party has lots of HP, which means as long as I cure three lands and... Um, he manages to nerf here. Yeah, but you do see a shake here. I don't, think it's, yeah, I don't think there's enough damage to throw it out here to have see a tip, so you are going to see a full power big bang most likely. Unless this virus was timed right. If the virus goes out, it nerfs. Unless the virus tips. But there's not enough damage. Yeah, it looks like the only yeah, time it looks Alright, so there. I think that tipped. Because, yeah, you, you would see, uh, you could have seen the Big Bang by now. 
if they hadn't, so. Now it all now is a race of the moment. So most of the end we can have to see another. Um we'll have to nurse Nerf at some point again here because I don't think it's gonna roll over to the heal phase. Um oh, I'm see gray phase number two here, so it's sort of deciding. Uh no, I don't wanna you know I don't wanna help out, I don't wanna cooperate. Uh, unfriendly rolls here. We'll see if uh, we'll see how uh, Matic uh, handles this here. Requires Gordon. Looks like here that did nerf successful. We do have one save go down, so uh, a little bit of less damage output from our other two here, but maybe okay here. <laughs> yeah, as long as it doesn't roll gray face, um, like not here should have this. relatively safe at this point. But no. <laughs> now that is uh, it's 1 in 27, right? To get three great faces in a row? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, assuming here that uh, your odds are you know, exactly one third. Yes! Uh, 1 in 27 odds here, but realistically here it feels like it's every other time when you play the game. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the feeling, though. Like, it, it either works or it doesn't. Yeah, two thirds of the time. <laughs> uh, this stuff is going to work with the fight here. Um, we're to be sure. Uh, did have that weak miss one time, I think, so far. I'll just put it in order to put the time here to recover here. And fortunately, because fortunately here was able to, because sometimes, you know, especially if the counter attack does hit the wrong person here, that can be the end of your, uh, of the grind. Speaking of the end here, the um, end is not here for uh, Shelmus, our blue shell here. I do see the rock space. Uh, Zeromos will cast Medio when he has 10,000 HP or less. So you know he's got, you know, less than 10,000. With that swing, um, of our crack boom, uh, and that has uh, finished the race, um, in a moment here. Uh, but no, this is going to be our first place. Uh, running right here with a time of uh, one hour, 36 minutes, 14 seconds. And if, um, yeah, I will come for an interview. Count is here um, for that here. Typically, it's 12 with the life glitch. Um, not sure what the count is yet, uh, yet here, but uh, if you have a weakness here, that would definitely still be a little bit. Fortune here does seem to have this. Oh, no. Like uh, Luz is. Oh, I thought he was gonna have to start wrapping up later, but let me take you know a few more. 
just to make sure here that, you know, we uh, get the levels here necessary here to, for those reflect strats here to get, um, in this case here, to be formed to uh, white and idiot to nuke here. One thing, I think the one thing here I didn't consider is that we did find additional forms, and I believe we did find another video. So, um, without and if C Y isn't on here, like there would have been a potential here to maybe swap out your uh, form and the video here to slingshot those characters, which speed up this grind a little bit. Yeah, with the same shot here, if your um, characters are um, five levels below the median level, um, you're, um, you get double the experience here. So, with the double here, um, had there been uh, eight, he has a 10 key item level here, that would be four times the base. And you no, know, here if one wants to grab the uh and here Sura had the spoon. Probably was never gonna be in Could have been if the runners had realized, oh, all I need to get through this demon get through this demon theoretically is a blink. Um I think the runners were right, sort of holding off and doing it when they were you know, more powerful and only needed to defeat demons. I haven't seen here where uh, I don't think I've seen Amnesty spoilers yet. We're seeing uh, Blues start to re equip. Characters here with uh, I guess what appears to be you know final boss here or like you know, final party setup here. So yeah, uh, tell us how we aired. And we are joined by Matek. GGS. Hello, hello. Thank you. How'd you feel about the scene? Uh, overall pretty good. Made a few small mistakes here and there, but. I think it was pretty solid overall. Um, I opted to, towards the end, I, after I got the hook from Zot, I was technically in go mode once I do Demist and um, Giant. So I opted to go that route instead of trying to hunt for the key item. I believe I had half of the uh, Forge the Crystal, but I, I didn't want to go hunting for Adamant, so I ended up doing that route instead. Um, and I don't know if my I don't know if my party choice was really great or not. I just kind of opted for a Zerk setup because with Double Sid and Yang, even though I didn't find anything great for them equipment-wise, it was good enough. I wanted to do a D Machine grind early because there was the early Darkness Crystal from I believe Fabul, but no Tella to be found. I searched everywhere. I guess he's hiding in Dwarf Castle or more, perhaps Baron. So that was kind of sad. Yeah, we found two uh, Tellas here. Um, there was a Tella in the um, the Kaipo bed. Um, however, the Sand Ruby was at the Riven spot. <laughs> um, and the, the search of the second Tella was um, at... What was the second Tella again? Oh, yeah. Um, a package. Mist. Oh, package, package right. And I, I did get a package. Um, I don't remember when I got that package, if it was after I went underground or not, but I believe I had that package. So I guess we that... did. It was from Sheila 2, from the Pantry. Okay, so that's after I went underground. By that point, it was kind of too late. I found Sirens. With the Sirens, I kind of just decided to do... I didn't want to grind all the way to Nuke for Rydia, especially since I didn't have 10 key items. So I kind of just went like a half-hearted approach and grind some extra levels in preparation for Giant that was after Demist. Um, Probably wasn't necessary, probably was a bit overkill. But Ogo at that spot was um, 
kind of scary. Although he was being a bit generous with his punches. He wasn't really hitting my Meridian too much. He was kind of supplying the heals towards the end there. Yeah, the element spot isn't extraordinarily punchy, so you probably would have been fine if Rydia had been punched once or twice. You did have Blink uh, from Porum. I think, I think your setup was pretty good. You, I mean, you won the race. <laughs> <laughs> yes, true. Well, I guess you know, going into this race here, um, with the flag set here, it, it, was there you know any thought in terms of you know, what, what your preferred strategy was, and whether you you know went in you know thinking I would you know, definitely want to you know I would prefer to go through Zerg strats, but I would do a D machine grind for for a flag if I have to, or vice versa. No, I really prefer the D-Machine grind if there's an early Earth Crystal. Um, like, if there's a really great setup for getting two Rydias or even one Rydia slingshotted to nuke um, with that tail in the early darkness, I'm going for that 100%. Um, so that, that's kind of my primary thing. The secondary thing is, well, if that doesn't work out, I'll just use a combination of Yangs and Sids and try and brute force through this with Zerking. And with the, uh, the Blarg uh, orb that um, I believe those in the treasury, I kind of was able to do a mix of that. Actually, Rydia was basically my main damage dealer until I turned her into a healer uh, later on. Yeah, the uh, hot well, is interesting here because uh, we did see Blue here get to the helmet um, far earlier. Uh, there was one a little bit further, a little bit deeper in the watery path. Uh, I'm sorry, he got the what earlier? Bahamut. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't, um, I didn't really uh, go too deep into watery paths. I didn't check Eblon either, actually. Yeah, I, mean, I don't, um, I don't think either of our, uh, either of the uh, our recent brothers here, either you or Blaze here, did at the No, and uh, with how generous the loot is on T Wildish, you don't necessarily need to like. It's, with without vanilla monster boxes, it can be a bit of a time investment to loot out Evelyn, even though there is a lot of chests that are highly weighted. Yeah, I did um, loot the back of Water Pass, I believe, and in total I found three white spears early, maybe four? I think three white spears and a defense sword. So that gave me a nice infusion of cash early on. I was able to get an Earth Hammer, an Ogre Axe, a Samurai Bow later on, and some other decent weapons and equipment to support my SIDs and my Yangs, for the most part. Um, you went to Cape Bahamut early, what were you looking for? Just for any freebie, really, and basically that was a freebie. Well, uh, so I first went to the moon originally because I was looking for a Tella. And if I found a Tella there, I was gonna do a D machine grind. Of course, Tella was not there. And and then I checked the item shop there. I forget what was there, if anything relevant. And so yeah, just um, just checking to see if there was a free fight there, and there was. Um, I can't recall what I got from there. If it was anything relevant, but the Legend Sword. Oh right, so half of um, right, and I never found the Adam Man. Um, so. Yep, just a just a freebie trying to find something, and it, it turned out to be a nice, uh, decent infusion of experience as well. So after that, I just went straight to uh, to Twin Harp, where I knew progression had to be there because it was my last uh, location it for getting underground. Uh, also, one bonus question of food plot. Um, I'm not sure how many races we've uh, done here, but we've seen races on both the 4.5 flag set and the 4.6 flag set. Have you, like, have you noticed, you know, much in terms of what you play here, in terms of res like, uh, resource availability when it comes to buying items here? Because, you know, some items are going to be a little pricier. Yeah, definitely. And actually, like I said, I got a big infusion of cash early on, but I found I, I used up, like, a lot of it. <laughs> much earlier than I anticipated, because those black belts ate up a lot of... Uh, I'm just kind of not used to the black belts ate it up. And some other items just kind of... I don't even believe I found life potions, but if I found those, I was going to buy more. Um, but just the life... The um, the black... Uh, the, 
the black belts and I believe the helmets. Is it the bandanas or the headbands? One of the two, I believe, cost more. Maybe both. The head, probably both. Definitely okay. the headbands. Yeah, I believe I bought those as well. And yeah, they just kind of ate through my uh, bank account much more than I anticipated. Coming when I eventually did get underground, I found I was kind of short on cash to buy what I needed, like sirens and vodka swines, and I had to make a return trip to get uh, more of each of those. So. Uh, the cursed ring obviously would have been prohibitive as well if I found it, but I, or if I found it in a shop. But I think I got lucky and found that in a um, a chest inside Baron Inn, I believe. So that was a yes. very very nice find early on. Um, I also found a heroin robe in there early on, and I kind of goofed because I forgot to equip it. Like I, I I got it and I was ready to put it on. And I never did, and so doing the Fabul gauntlets with um, it was it wasn't a very uh, pleasant experience for that. Uh, first Baron in fight. But yeah, the heroin rope was, was, was decently helpful as well until uh, I no longer needed it. Like, although, you know, there's, you know, I guess, you know, parts of where, of where you're seeing here that, you know, maybe they want to change here uh, your, uh, on your next race here. You did supremely well here, um, being our first place finisher tonight here. Um, Starship Champion there, um, Questions or remarks? No, just uh, once more, GG's. Do you have any final thoughts for us? Thank you. No, no final thoughts. I, I, I really enjoy racing. And like I said, um, the previous time I was interviewed, I kind of got into the scene somewhat new, but I've been a casual watcher for the last uh, two or three years and finally started to get into it several months ago, close to last year. Um, and I'm just, I know there's a big event coming up, so I'm looking forward to that and just staying in the clubs. Um, this is a fantastic community. I'm really, really, everyone's supportive, and whenever you have questions or, or whatever, people are always willing to help you, and I'm just glad to now be a part of it. So that's my final thoughts on it, really. We're glad you're oh, here. Oh, we're glad to have you, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. Hope you have a great rest of your night. Alright, you, you all have a good night. Thank you. And that was Matic, our first place finisher. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like Blue's Eclipse did finish up his D-Machine grind and has made it through the Giant of Babel, uh, employing some Reflect Strats against Ogopogo. The glitch that makes Reflect Strats possible isn't just against Aromas. No, any enemy that has a spell counter will only counter when directly targeted by the spell. A spell bounced off the wall will not trigger a counter. That only applies here for the uh, perfectly coded SNES version of the game here. Don't try that on a Pixel Remaster. <laughs> You're in for a bad time. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I think this, like, a lot of what makes this game great is, uh, <laughs> The bugs. What bugs? This is a perfectly coded game. <laughs> I mean, the, the the developers, you know, did do some very clever things. Like most of the game was developed uh, before the SNES was out. This was originally going to be a NES game, and they had to basically port it to the Super Nintendo when the Super Nintendo was announced. Like, it's, it's remarkable what they did with what they had. Yeah, like, I, there's, a, there's a meme that, you know, goes around these days, you know, what do you think Final Fantasy is 25 years ago here, and what Final Fantasy was 25 years ago? Years ago here, and to think that this game here is 33 years old is kind of boggling, mind-boggling in of itself. If a math trick is about 30, yeah, 33, 34? Uh, 32 years, or, yeah, 32 years old. It released in December of 1991. Oh, right. Remember the 91 here? I didn't remember when, so. <laughs> uh, we are going to see if we uh, take the trip down uh, again here. If you do want to, you know, jump on the, uh, an active player, become an active player in this community. Maybe you're, you know, you've been a long time watching, like Matic. Um, who, side, who wants to uh, take the plunge, 
Again, go to the Discord here. But tons of people to and forms. Um and clubs here too. Um, or, uh, you know, anyone who's getting started with the game. So uh, definitely check that out here. Um, all of our um, all of our uh, club races, um, club forms are in there, and all of our tournament announcements here um, will be made on Discord as well here. So be sure to check. So we are and likely to see a very different strategy um, for uh, Blues' plates. Uh, uh, reflect strats, and this again here, this will be different here because you're going to see Chrome's take far less damage uh, to get to the Chrome. And why would that be, Star Sir? So, going on that reflect bug I was mentioning before, uh, an enemy will only initially I use a counter when it was directly targeted by an attack. Um, zero, the developers only allotted so much, you know, a certain size of integer for an enemy's HP, which maxes out uh, at the power of two closest to 65,000. But they wanted to give the final boss 110,000 HP. And the workaround is that when Zeromus reaches 10,000 hip, uh, around 14,000 hit points the first time, he'll invisibly heal himself to full, giving him an effective 110,000 hit points. You can bypass this by dealing the last 20,000 damage or so with reflected spells. Reflect strats you usually deal all the damage with reflected spells because you don't want to deal with the nuke counters. The reason why that works is because the refill itself is a counter screen. As we said in the old book, the bounce spell here doesn't trigger a uh, doesn't trigger the, uh, the enemy's counter screens. <laughs> so instead of chewing through 110, you're now chewing through uh, 61. And, you know, with the spells Nuke and White, uh, you're doing it in much larger chunks than with Berserkers. Yes. Uh, uh, with the right gear, those spells can reach quad nines. Uh, yeah, I suspect we'll be seeing a few... Uh, I believe with the set we got here, we'll be seeing at least a few of those. But even if not here, again here, like... Once you have you know your setup comfortable here and barring any hiccups, uh, typically you don't get a second big hit. Most of the time. <laughs> a bit of a uh like that is, you know, you have a super beaky uh Sid and Young here who could um if you can throw you know life pots and pure pots if need. And if worst comes to worst, and you lose both of your damage dealing mages with no real opportunity to uh, revive them, you can do what's called power couple strats, where you have one character berserked and the other character handling healing. Uh, with Blue's Eclipse's anchoring situation, it would be right. It would be very, very doable. It might take a while, but it would be doable to do power couple strats here. With the whatever you know, with that, with whatever healing items he has remaining. Um, and you think the uh, oh, go um, well here, and you think the counter nuke here hit Yong a perfect target, one of the, one of the three perfect targets. <laughs> uh, in this case, and it looks like uh, Blues is actually going for what we call hybrid strats, where is doing lots of damage with reflected spells, but also has his high-level melee fighters berserked and still dealing damage. Uh, this is this is a good strategy. Uh, the, with the way the ATSB system works, you have a little more time to take your actions uh, while 
Like, the ATB doesn't advance while an animation is playing, so you have a, but you can still work through your menus. So you have more time to take actions while you have a Berserker going. Wait, it's going here, we're going to see, you know, that... Uh, you, know, you know, a lot more power <laughs> at hand. We're going to, we're going to see that... Uh, you know, the uh, HP up here. Um, have a far sooner here, and you can see, you know, these, you know, go to, you know, go to each day, so, uh, uh, that much faster here, and, yeah, this fight, like, with the amount of damage to burst, uh, yeah, we probably don't see a second big game. Like, um, actually, we were seeing you know, our hit and jump, jump hit around, jump around a little bit more so in the low 2000s. Um, we're seeing you know, uh, just, just uh, it's, uh, a quad nine <laughs> upper radio here, and we're seeing you know, Sid and you know, Young in closer to the 3000s. This is a very healthy damage output here. You might not even see a media. Right? Yes, yeah, so we don't see the second big bang here. Um, but yeah, there is a, a white cast coming out here. This, this punch doesn't take it out here, the, uh, the white. I guess the nuke will in this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, well the, uh, the nuke spell has an ATB delay of zero, so oftentimes when you queue up a nuke, it will go off before it's too late because, of, because white has an ATB delay. I don't remember, I think it's three, but I could be wrong. You know, the uh, information behind on the wiki, but which is where I usually learned it. That uh, nuke here does take out. Uh, Shellness on blue side here, uh, with an official race time of, uh, just under, uh, two hours at one hour, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Yeah, uh, I believe we'll see if Blues wants to join us for an interview. And he has Welcome in Blues GG's. Thank you. That was an interesting seed, I think. Definitely gave us some challenging boss fights there. Thank you. Uh, that was a like in terms of scene, uh, I, I guess you know how to see it. Definitely um, gave us some you know, challenging. I guess you know what did you find? You know, gave you you know the most uh, hiccups here, the most uh, grief. <laughs> the most trouble I had would honestly, I'd have to say the deepest. Yeah, that spot is um, awfully punchy here, and fast. <laughs> yeah. Very punchy, very fast. Fortunately, I figured out a way to get around it. I am glad I didn't go, in that, go into that fight when I first saw it, because I did have the thought of, hey, maybe I can take this with my current levels, and then remembered, wait, no, my current levels were low to mid-20s. You could have... It would have just taken an eternity, and I think going back for it later was the uh, faster play. Putting it yeah. off saved you time, ironically. Yep. Uh, one thing I found, you know, um, interesting here was the play for uh, um, at uh, for Dwarf Castle here for the. Uh, I guess you know what was your. Um, your thought process here. Um, we we're respecting here that if I didn't play to try to get uh, 10 key items. Honestly, my main thought process there was not remembering whether Rydia can learn Nuke as a child or not. Uh, oh, she can, actually. The only things I'll that are that gated. Next time. The only spells that are gated um, by the Dwarf Castle completion are the spells she learns in that cutscene uh, Lit 2, Ice 2. Fire to, and these various summons she gets. 
Okay. I will definitely have to keep that in mind. I just did not know what was gated and what was not by Rydia growing up there, so... I figured, better be safe than sorry, it would give me two extra shots at picking up a spoon as well. That never materialized, though. So, I'm going to ask my own uh, here. Um, going into the seat here, did you have, you know, a, like an idea of, you know, what type of strategy you wanted to go with? Um, or, or, prefer, or would have preferred to, to have gone with here? Um, and whether here your final... You know your eventual strategy when it came, came to this, uh, came to Z fight here. Whether you know that was uh, your preferred option. Honestly, my plan going into the seed was not so much a plan as an ideal scenario. Was Rydia with Blarg to carry me through the early to mid game, and that's exactly what happened. From uh -huh. there, it was just a matter of adapting to what else I found, but as far as the, as far as the end game goes, there with the Z fight, I really really the only thing that I had to really swerve on there was deciding who was going to be my anchor, and in the end and in the end it was just okay. I had no spoon. I was going to pick Edward back, pick up the Edward that I ditched for Tella back up to be that anchor anyway. And then Giant of Babel just gave me a fresh Edward at level 5. That's the best thing about the Tower of Babel character. He's usually just your anchor. <laughs> yeah. Free anchor. I usually don't make the trip, though. So. <laughs> I guess that's a neat Well, one. sometimes you have to, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I, I never saw either of the Forge components in this scene, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. My options would have been either go hunting for those or just do giant. You did see one half of uh, the forge here, the Legend Sword here, was behind a water hag at Cave Bahamut. Um, oh. But yeah, the, the okay. little bit of, I suspect here the other one would have been a bit yeah, more I, of a. Yeah, I just saw in the item crawl the adamant was actually at the Murasame altar. Ooh. So, Moon has been, both the that would have especially depending. Yeah, would have been especially depending on what boss was there. Yeah. Yeah, I will say though, as far as as far as planning went, I think the biggest thing in this seed that went against the plans I had was not finding a Tella until extremely late, because I went into this seed with. I won't say an expectation, but a fairly, but a fairly strong guess that D Machine was going to be the primary grind. No, well, which is um, certainly fair assessment, especially when you only with a limited character pool here. But uh, yes, yeah, we see many a time here. Sometimes uh, the board AI does not want to cooperate. Yeah, and. I'm honestly wondering if sirens were in the moon shop because I know I saw hourglasses in the underground somewhere. So, if I if sirens were on the moon, then uh, King Ryu grind would have been on the table as well and probably would have been a bit faster. But in the end, I just I mean, you even saw I went into Mist Village, checked the package, and then dipped out without actually grabbing the Tella at that point because. I still had, at minimum, Evelyn Cave to do, and figured, okay, let me see if I can get a Tella from, at, from the actual objective first. Oh, oh. That was fair. Um, the Sirens here were, uh, I believe, it was the Dwarf Castle item shop. Were they? Yeah. I must have somehow just not... No, actually, I don't think I ever went into the Dwarf Castle item shop, so that would explain why I never saw him. <laughs> Well, I know there have been times where we're like on a key on a uh, flag set here, which has a, uh, a pass as something you purchase in a shop. I've been known to forget to check. Then get very yeah. confused afterwards. <laughs> yeah, and I'll admit it's strange with me because I tend to check most shops anyway, just because of the fact that if I can find a shop that has sork robes, that has bandanas, that has black belts, 
I generally will keep the I generally will keep those those in particular in mind, just as guaranteed gear options for characters rather than having to rely on what I pull from chests. But you know, I, you know, with I guess you know, with everything in mind here, um, I just you know, you don't, you don't, aside from a few hiccups here, Grace went well went well for you here. Um, what do you plan on taking away here for the um? Or uh, what comes in the future? Honestly, I think the biggest takeaway here for me would probably just be to keep in mind what characters I have, what characters I have available, and just really, it's really it's just a matter of making sure I can leverage the characters I have available to me. And I honestly think I did that pretty well. Yeah, no, you definitely you know made use of, you know, the characters you had here, and you had a very uh, smooth uh, heat fighter result here without any hiccups. Um, so, do you have any final thoughts uh, or questions here? Uh, or... Uh, just as far as final thoughts, I'll be glad, I'll be glad to see better melee fighters in the next seed. <laughs> well, we don't know what the next seed is yet. Yeah, but I doubt, but I doubt <laughs> Asp is gonna subject us to reject percent two weeks in a row. Could be whoops all mages. That's fine. I can turn ma I can turn mages into melee fighters if I get enough heroin ropes. Also, uh, also not inaccurate. <laughs> uh, with that here, um, it's hard if you didn't have any questions uh, for uh, Blue here. Um, want to wish you know again, GG's on race here and hope you have a great rest of your night uh, rest of your night yep you as well and i do want to thank you guys thank asuka thank everyone for putting this together and just thank the free enterprise community as a whole for just being a great community to be a part of awesome well, it's great to have you uh no um as a part of the uh, as part of the group here as well With that here, that brings our broadcast to an end. Um, again here, uh, give our runners a follow. Um, they, uh, they you know, this is again, they don't have to put themselves out there here um, for the races here, but you know, we do, you know, thank them to acknowledge here that, you know, they, uh, yeah, they come shit here to step up here and volunteer to put on the show for everyone today here uh, well, right, uh in a few moments here we'll be um reading over to uh, another uh member of uh no, another you know long time long standing member of the free enterprise community uh we're going to be reading night Duke, who's um currently um playing an another uh random uh randomizer uh final fantasy 6 world's flight oh, and you know, a lot of you know, a lot of people who have, um who are our free enterprise players are also uh, worlds to live players here, so um, it's definitely you know something here to check out as well here. If that uh, gets your interest here, um, Sergeant, do you have any final remarks for uh, for our chat today? Have a good night, y'all. All right, with that. Have a good night. I'll, I'll follow the bug report for the Twin Heart chat.